Now I will talk about the worktop menu bar. On the drop-down menu, I will show you the functions of all the commands you can see here. Click delete worktop, and you will see all the worktops are deleted. And you can also see auto create worktop, select units to create worktop, create worktop manually. And first, click Auto Create Worktop. Then, click Auto. So, you can see the worktops are created directly. Right click this worktop and you can delete it. Next, click Select Units to create worktop. And then, click Auto. Select the target unit, press Shift. For multiply selections. Then the worktop is created. Also, we can create worktop manually. So, click Create Worktop Manually. We can choose to show the base unit and refuse to show wall unit or tall unit. Then, zoom the area. and start to draw the worktop manually. Click the point and then to the next point. Right click to confirm and change its bottom elevation. We can choose 850 and thickness 40. Click OK to confirm. Then the worktop is created. Similarly, we can edit the worktop. Click Worktop Edit. Select the target worktop. And we can set the front edge and back edge accordingly. So, you can see the number here. Number 0. Number 1. Number 2. And number 3. So here, we choose the size from number 3 to number 0. So we click Add. Set its start point and end point. Click OK. So we can see the size has been changed. Right click and edit it. And we can continue to change the size. Now we delete it, and it will go back to its original style. Meanwhile, we can create walk top manually. Select one edge of the walk top, click it, and you can see there are three styles you can choose. Style 1, and then Style 2, and also Style 3. Here we choose the second style. And thickness, we make it 40. Real thickness, and also 40. And we tick on floor and double size. Click OK to confirm. Click bar counter. As for bar counter location mode, we can choose by cabinets. Then click OK to confirm. Select a cabinet unit and we can change its pattern. So here we choose pattern 2. As for orientation, we choose left. And you can change width, length, thickness, and offset distance. We make it minus 900. We can also add it with length, thickness, elevation, and the diameter of the leg. Click OK. Similarly, right-click the bar counter and we can delete it. Next, click Create Wall Seal manually. Click the point 
along the wall. Right click to confirm and set its bottom elevation. So here we can set it 2.3 meters. Then you can see the wall seal over here. Click delete wall seal and then it is deleted. And here you can create plinth, but before that we should delete plinth. Then click create plinth and click auto select units to create or create manually. So here we choose auto. On the drop down menu, we can choose to create cabinet legs or delete cabinet legs. The way is the same as creating plinth. Done.